There are certain cues Adrian Stair looks for to see if her son Lauren has to go. He sometimes has a faraway glance in his eyes. Stair is attempting to potty train her four-month-old using a method called elimination communication, a diaper-free method of potty training infants that's gaining momentum with New York mothers. So the idea is that babies are born not wanting to soil themselves, not wanting to soil you. Unlike potty training toddlers, elimination communication relies on physical cues. See what your baby does immediately before going to the bathroom, then create a parental cue to associate with going potty. I'd make a noise to cue him um, to let him know that he was going. So if he peed, I'd say, oh, you just peed. Um, and then by two or three weeks, when I would give him that same cue noise and hold him over a potty, um, he might go pee. It's not exactly foolproof. There are plenty of accidents. And some doctors question the benefits of potty training so young. There are potential psychological stressors for the baby. If you misread the signals from the baby and you're constantly putting the baby on the potty, then you're not allowing the baby to develop the, the, the sorts of skills that that baby should be developing. Yet the concept of starting at an earlier age appeals to these mothers. After coming to the meetup, I thought to myself, why don't I try to see if I can take her over and take her out of the diaper and if she'll go. And she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These mothers recognize it may not be for everyone, but they see it as a way to strengthen their bond with their babies and save more than a few diapers. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.